Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. And thanks so much for joining us. Our guest is Mark Ridley Thomas. Mr. Ridley Thomas is a member of the Board of Supervisors for Los Angeles County. And as you may know, our county, about 10 million residents, bigger than Michigan. Mm. It's a huge county. Right. And as a result, about four or five years ago, the Board of Supervisors, before you arrived Correct. on the board, appointed a CEO. Now there's some move to strip some power from that CEO, uh, Bill Fujioka. Talk to us about that move. Well, I think it's essentially an attempt on the part of the board uh, to say, we want this back. We want to run two key departments. And, and they are? The Department of Children and Family Services, as well as the Department of Probation. Now, my guess is, sir, if I may, is the reason why those departments are in question is because they have faced some real controversies. Um, we've talked about the probation department. We have. And so is there merit to the issue that maybe those departments are not being managed appropriately? Well, I think it's ill-advised to uh, cause the departments to be run by the board itself. What you do in a situation like that is effectively whipsaw a general manager because that general manager will have to figure out which of the five he or she is reporting to. And not one of us is inclined to say, do it like the other says. Therefore, the wisdom of having a chief executive officer to whom uh, the general managers report. And so uh, the three members of the board who wish to move in this direction. Mr. Uh, Molina, no, Mrs. Molina, Mrs. I should Molina. say, uh, Mr. Yaroslavsky right. and Mr. Antonovich. Yeah, they are effectively regressing. Uh, and I um, am hopeful that we can turn this around because if we don't, uh, it, in my view, will not serve the interest of the children in the Department of Children and Family Services, nor will it serve the youngsters in the Department of Probation. How would you respond to the concerns of those three uh, when they say that Mr. Fujioka, the CEO, is playing a bit of hide the ball? They request information, they're not receiving the information. Uh, they're not getting proper information even from the general managers of those departments. Uh, my response would be, would be the following. There has been no instance in which I made a request uh, that I didn't get what I uh, sought. And so I have a very difficult time understanding what it is they are talking about. Uh, further, I would say there are prohibitions against uh, that which can be released in terms of privacy issues, and the law is pretty clear as to how it moves. And so there is some of the sticking point. <clears throat> At a certain level, there are still five members of the board. Correct. And you've listed three. Yes. Who are interested in <clears throat> changing this formula. Right. Uh, Mr. Antonovich has spoken more generally about the CEO gaining too much power. Correct. Uh, Ms. Molina, Mr. Yaroslavsky have been very specific with right. regard to those two departments. So you're a little uh, politicking to do, sir, no? Well, I think um, we will land in a place that is reasonable. Uh, I simply want us to have the appropriate uh, level of transparency and efficiency, but at all times we have to be fair to the employees in the County of Los Angeles, from the chief executive officer right through uh, the most um, basic employee of a student worker. And what you're seeing through this, I'll just call it a power play, I don't mean to be pejorative, is that it's kind of picking and choosing, it's like court stripping. You're picking and choosing which departments to pull yeah. power. Right. Uh, slippery slope? Without question. Uh, it is not sufficiently well thought out. It has unintended consequences, and at the end of the day, due process is important. Okay. His name is Mark Ridley Thomas. He's a member of the Board of Supervisors for Los Angeles County. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to HLN.